guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today I'm back with another installment of the Squish. I believe this is a tier two tiny home. It's like low 60s in the amount of tiles and I'm building a Barbie caravan today. You might recognize this build as uh, we built it a couple of days ago over on Twitch. It was a really wild stream in that um, I sorta dressed up as Barbie. I had blonde hair, I had pink clothes. Uh, we needed to channel her a little bit in order to try and make this caravan because I have had Barbie tiny house written down on my to-do list for a very, very long time. I've gotten a lot of suggestions to do something in this realm. And uh, I've tried a few times over the last week or so, and I kept scrapping it. So I decided, you know what? We're gonna do this live on stream. I'm gonna get some opinions. And you know, why not embrace, you know, the Barbie look while we do it? Uh, so this is what we came up with on stream. I'm really, really happy with how it came out. It's very bright pink on the outside. The trailer and this grass patch in the front are both from Show Live Edit Objects. And then the bright pink wallpaper is from Eco Lifestyle. It's the container wallpaper in the pink swatch. And I got to use the new door from Nifty Knitting. And I don't know, I just had so much fun. Also, a lot of the plant choices out here, I was picking based on not only if they were pink, but if they looked really plasticky or not, because I wanted a little bit of that vibe to come through because we're talking about Barbie dolls. So that was the idea. Also, also, <laughs> I was thinking that this wasn't a permanent residence. It was when Barbie's traveling and I was thinking she was traveling with her little sister. So I decorated it for Barbie and her little sister. The reason I'm not specifying which one is because the name of Barbie's little sister and the age has changed over the years. So it could be whoever you're thinking. I was thinking a child though, and that Barbie was probably a young adult or older teenager. And that's kind of the whole concept I had. But let me know when you think of Barbie's little sister, who do you think of? Do you think of Skipper? Do you think of Kelly? Or do you think of Chelsea? I personally think of Kelly, but I know everyone grew up with Barbie at a different time. So let me know what you think of when you think of her little sister. Anyway, in addition to landscaping, I wanted to make sure there was some outdoor space for Barbie and her sister to relax in. Of course, any company they might have as well. So I have a table and chairs, a barbecue, a couple of loungers, a beach towel, and we're gonna be adding a couple other things as well. I wanted to make sure there was at least a few scale building items on this lot since Barbie seems to be an expert at absolutely everything. I did not put a rocket ship on this lot, even though apparently at one point in time, Barbie was an astronaut because it just didn't feel like it fit with a Barbie caravan. However, we do have an easel, a flower arranging table, and I think a few other things. Um, so hopefully those will be some fun hobbies to play with, but you could definitely add that rocket ship. Please, please add that rocket ship. I think it'll look fantastic here. Um, <laughs> completely contradicts what I just said two seconds ago, but that's fine. That is a okay. Um, but just adding this mailbox over here and the flamingos, I thought the flamingos were so perfect. Something about flamingos I associate with Barbie. I wonder why that is. I'm sure there's a reason for it. Was there something flamingo themed with Barbie at some point? And I'm just not remembering what it is. Um, but anyway, I also made sure to add a way to do laundry. So we have the wash bucket and the laundry line. I also added a kiddie pool. And while I know the main purpose of these is for toddlers, and I guess you could play with Barbie and her toddler sister, I was thinking it would just be a nice place for Barbie to lounge since adults can just hang out in that as well, which I was so happy they added with seasons when they added that little, uh, that little, I keep wanting to call it a bath. It's a pool. Not a bath. I mean, I guess it could be. <laughs> but anyway, um, the uh, easel is blue. I thought that was a nice pop of color. And there does end up being more color on the inside other than just pink. I had a lot of fun playing around with the various colors. Uh, but outside is a bit overwhelmingly pink, which was really fun for me because I'm not the biggest fan of the color pink, which I've mentioned many a times. Uh, so this is definitely a challenge. That's probably why it took me so long to come to a build like this, why I scrapped so many attempts in the process. Uh, but the landscaping, I'm just trying to make it fit in with its surroundings. This is actually in Glimmerbrook on the Glimmerbrook watch lot. I think that's what that says in the upper left corner. Uh, you can read that on the screen right now. That is the lot I placed this on. I thought it made sense like if they're going camping somewhere in their little caravan, you know, maybe in a more woodsy area. And if you wanted it to be like a permanent residence instead of a vacation spot, I thought Glimmerbrook was the place to go. But of course you could place this in 
the outdoor retreat world as well because that would be a good vacation spot to go to that has that more uh, camping vibe to it, I guess. Um, I don't know why every once in a while I can't remember the names of worlds. I was just like, oh yeah, the one from outdoor retreat. And uh, it, just, it just, it's gone. It's gone, but it's okay because we're not there today. We are in Glimmerbrook, uh, but just adding more landscaping. I kind of love landscaping, trying to look, make it look like it's been walked over a little bit, but also has these really pretty rocks on the ground. And uh, of course, you know, lots of plants and I don't know, I just had fun with it. It was, it was so much fun doing that. And then we're going to be jumping on into the inside. It took us forever to get to this point. I was just stuck on the outside for a really long time. And I decided that front curved piece was going to be where the bathroom goes. I thought that was like a natural placement for that. And then the bedroom was going to be back here. And at first I was like, you know what, we're going to do a Murphy bed, but I didn't end up doing a Murphy bed in the end. It just, it didn't seem like the best idea for whatever reason, so I did swap that out. But in this main area, we end up having a kitchen, Barbie's closet, a place to hang out and sit down, and a computer desk as well. There's no TV in the main living space, but there is one in the bedroom. I was thinking maybe either Barbie or her sister really like to have the noise or the visual on, the little bit of flickering light in order to fall asleep. I know I personally am like that. I like to have the TV on, have a little bit of noise, a little bit of light in order to fall asleep. If it's just perfectly silent, I'm gonna be up all night. So I, I really, thought that that could be a good idea and also it was a good way to fit it in without squeezing it into this small space. I am using a mini fridge here in the kitchen. Uh, it does come in pink which was perfect but also in tiny kitchens I feel like it looks really nice to have the uh, mini fridges because it's at the same level as the counters so you don't have just it, it just gives you the illusion of more counter space which it doesn't work. I, re I really wish when they made mini fridges, they made it so they could snap under the counters like they do with the dishwashers, which I believe we add a dishwasher in here. But anyway, over here, I'm trying to add a window so it looks like it's a partially opened closet. And then I added a couple of hanging plants throughout here because they are so pretty. We just got these with Nivdi Knitting and I love them so much. So of course I'm gonna overuse them. And then the couch is from that pack as well, which is how we brought in some more colors because I decided to add some more of that blue and of that yellow to this living space to match in with that uh, sofa and also just to bring a little bit more color variety to the space. Oh, I um, also imagine there was a poodle that lived on this camper with them. So there's some dog leashes and a little bit later on, I do add a bowl as well. I didn't add a dog bed because it was such a small space. And honestly, I don't know about you guys, but I don't really use the dog beds in game because they are massive and the dogs can just curl up on the couch or on the bed and like, that's just adorable. So even if both of the human Sims were sleeping in the bedroom, the dog could curl up on the couch and I'm, pretty sure it would be a bit more comfortable than a dog bed anyway, especially the ones in The Sims 4, they are so flat. Uh, but over in the corner here, we have this desk space. I use this desk from Parenthood and then a chair from Laundry Day. I love the swatch on it, that beautiful blue swatch. But here in the bedroom, I just decided to have one bed. I felt like they could just share the bed for when they are traveling around. And it is one that came with Eco Lifestyle in this pink swatch. I also used an accent wall in the back. This is from Moschino, the pink and mint wallpaper. I thought it was really pretty. I also tried to make these plants work in here, the hanging plants from Tiny Lip. I did end up using them in this build, but they are going to be in the bathroom instead on the other side of this build. I also used the cat mirror and these doors, they only come in pink if they have drawings on the other side. So I thought maybe it was like a crafty project that Barbie and her sister did at some point. So we have the princess one in the bedroom and then I think the bunny one in the bathroom if I'm remembering correctly. And then you can tell who has which side based on the stuff I put over there. So there's a bunch of toys on the floor over here for the little sister and a little lamp. I have a little makeup tray on the bed for getting ready and uh, some fairy lights are in here as well. I just thought this was a really fun room to do. I even have the sheer curtains above the bed and uh, trying to use a color I'm not the biggest fan of was just, it was a nice challenge. Uh, just adding some books and such to the window. I tried to make it a bay window seat, but 
Nothing I was raising up and putting in there looked very good, so I ended up to leave, leaving it alone in the end. But we're moving into the bathroom. I did combine this sink and this little shelving unit under it to make kind of a custom sink, and I did play test it, and it works perfectly. Uh, I made sure to play test this whole build. I think the only thing that majorly changed, and it wasn't even that major, is I had to make the stairs heading up to the trailer turned. So I had to configure them because if they were turned to the side, that you can walk up them. But going straight on, you couldn't because of that sized up grass patch from Shalivita Objects that I used as the planter for all the plants. It was technically in the way if the stairs were facing one way, but if they were facing a different way, it wasn't in the way anymore. And then I used this little frog in here too. It's so cute. <laughs> I, w I just used a bunch of cute items that I don't typically use and got a little bit excited about it, but just adding a bookcase and a cork board over here. Of course, had to add a doggy calendar because I did imagine there was a dog on this lot as I had mentioned, and just some cute postcards from some places Barbie probably traveled to as well as adding in temperature controls and our fire alarm. Just finishing up with some decorations in here as well. I got some more stuff in the little window above the uh, kitchen area. I really enjoyed adding some more crafty materials and some more, I guess, kid inspired things with toys all over the place. And then that cat mirror I had added in the bedroom. I was really thinking those were things the little sister was like, it's so cute, we need it. And uh, it was probably a collaborative decoration experience between the two sisters to see how this space would be decorated, how it would come together. And I just love that idea, like letting her little sister pick out some of the decorations. It's just, it's a fun time. I think it'd be a great bonding experience for some family members to uh, travel around in a camper like this. And uh, yeah, anyway, just getting our last couple decorations. We have that little octopi on the floor, a book bag, and uh, messing around with our little entryway here. And then we're gonna be heading on into screenshots. I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I'd love to have you join us. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you've been notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye everybody.